exit stage left. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anna. If you're not new here, welcome back and welcome to a new video. And especially welcome to the fam. Everybody, just welcome to the fam. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about something that is that we have been working on behind the scenes but today I'm going to catch you up on what we are looking for so we are in the process of looking for a new van to replace our old van videos on my channel about the one that we are replacing I will link it up in the cards. Also, a little bit of a disclaimer. This video is not sponsored by anybody. But anyway, these are not, a, this is not a sponsored video at all. Okay, and I know sometimes it's hard to find cards like this that I wanted to be helpful. So, like I said, we are replacing our van that we have now. And here's a couple reasons why. First of all, it is 14 years old. And the motor is going great on it. But well, the van is starting on the van. The, the ramp on the end of it is starting to rust. And the um the ramp neck mechanism I can never say that word mechanism is um starting to leak out so like the automatic the automation part of it it's automated like as far as you press the button it comes out that's what I was saying so like I said I highly recommend. Toyota's Sienna, that's the car that we have. Oh yeah, this will be our second time going through the process of finding a Google. And also I would like to say that another huge part or a reason a huge, um reason why we are replacing our van is we would like to travel down the lot or in the future with our car or have the poten have the potential to travel with our car um or as most of you as most of you can probably put together with a fourteen year old car you have have a little bit of hesitation with going long distances. Currently, we are paying the paying for it out of our own pocket. So if you guys have any um feedback or feedback that we could get grants or some kind of assistance, that would be great. But all all the all the research that we have done get any money um, because you're you're towards like a car because um it was a birth defect before delivery so if anybody has information about that that would be greatly appreciated from both my parents and I because as we all know cars can get expensive especially when you're talking handicap accessibility. So, moving on. So, we were waiting, waiting, waiting. We thought for a minute there that, oh, the car price will eventually go down. Oh, just give it a few more minutes. We'll wait a little bit. Then, 
We uh, we saw my um, well, my uncle and my future brother-in-law's dad. They both work for the automotive industry, and they said mm, no. So the as many of you know, there's a trip chip short chip shortage going on with like a big clothes but they said yeah I don't I don't see that coming and like stopping in him soon and we were like oh crap <sighs> not oh crap but like okay that that's two people that we trust that saying uh, it ain't gonna happen in him soon um, and, um, so, we were like, gotta bite the bullet, basically. So, the color was more, more important because, to me and them, because we do have it for a very long time. And, also, my mom is my main driver. So, she's the one that, her and I used that car the most. So, okay, now going to the conversion. The one that we have currently is a Freedom Motors conversion. And I, w I want to say nothing but praises about Freedom Motors. Their, um, their customer service is really good. They are very nice people. And I see nothing bad about them. They will always have my praises. But the one that we have now is a rear entry. My, my ramp is a rear entry ramp. But the bad thing about that is Freedom Motors does not do a side entry room and I really want to sit in the passenger side room just because of all well, a few reasons. There's nobody that sits in the back with me so I um it's basically just me and my mom. I am now twenty two years old and don't want to be sitting in the back anymore. Um, and like I was saying, it's just me and my mom most of the time, and she can hardly hand me stuff when I'm in the back. Um, but yeah, so, so we will not be going to Freedom Motors for that conversion because they do not, um, do that conversion. So if you guys are... If that is the conversion for you, I would highly recommend going to my other wheelchair accessible way video videos and watching them so that you guys can see the um, what it looks like. I will link that in the video in the in the uh, cards down below. Here are the things that we would like in our next car, and we have begun the search to buy the side entry, which is like up and down, like the ramp would be on the side, and I really like the fact that I could see both exiting and exiting and entering the car. Another thing is. We really wanted it to be for me to sit up front, passenger side. Um, also, we are going to we are going to get the easy lock system or lock system put in. It's called easy lock, which is basically like a box that has a um. I have a bolt on my wheelchair that hooks up to them 
I would not, I would highly recommend it. But for us, the you, the nice thing about um things you like or not things you like, the lock system is that we do live in Michigan, which that does have a lot of snow. There's no and um so it's it's much easier than having somebody strap me down and it saves us time. Um, Drum roll, please. The conversion that we actually have chosen that I think works best for us. The um BMI BMI conversion. No, again. Let me let me tell you some things that I liked about BMI. One, there, there's well. One I consider for it, like I wanted to. Oh, and BMI, if, if you want to, if anybody sees this from BMI, the company, contact me. Yeah, contact me if you want to help. Anyway, so what I was saying was before. So the backup battery, and um, they also have a, but they also have something for, or if like my parents would have to manually pull down. Also, oh, I can um, I can now. So I can do like a 360. Hold on. Oh yeah. So like I said, I can turn around the car like a th do a 360, and and so I'm in room. And like I said, another pro would be I can exit enter the car and um exit through the car car. You can face forward uh, no matter what direction. So, and also, as, as this journey continues, I will keep you guys updated. And please join me on this ride. Do your research. Um, you know your situation is better than I do. So, do your research because I cannot I cannot stress my stress that enough. We are doing so yeah. I will. I hope you guys find this very helpful, and hopefully one day very soon. Cross, cross your our fingers. I will find a car. Um, we will find a car. So yeah, remember to keep on rolling and I will see you guys next time. Bye!